Whether you're watching this in the morning, the evening, or at night, this is Mr. Fixie here, and I wanted to say, Good morning, scientists! Sorry if you had headphones in, I'm real excited today. Um, so what I wanted to talk about is what you're going to be up to today. Um, so in class, my, the ordering always ends up a little bit different, so I know sometimes in uh, on your online agendas you see a lot of things repeated. Um, Sometimes that's just how it's going to roll. Um, what I want you to do is to make sure you watch. You might have already watched it, but if you have already, then just watch it again. Um, Scientific Literacy by Neil deGrasse Tyson. That's this first video posted here. And that's going to be your question is, what do you think it means to be scientifically literate? So just responding to uh, the video, responding to Neil deGrasse Tyson's um, monologue there um, with your thoughts. What do you think that means to be scientifically literate? All right. And then what we're going to be doing in class is this Kami practice and article reading. Um, you can find that in classwork, and you'll find it under Unit 1 right here. So it's not posted yet because I'm taking this in the past. Regardless, uh, when this is posted, you'll see this um, article, which is about uh, the Royal um, Society, which is a scientific society, and how um, women have been. You'll read it. You read it. Um, and then what you'll do is you'll open it with Cami to edit the article, and you'll use this Google Doc, which has directions for what I want you to do. So as you read through the article, you'll use the markup tool, and you'll highlight every time you see the word woman or women, so either the singular or the plural version, you'll highlight that term in purple every time you see it. Sorry, my page is just loading. And then after you've gone through it all, you'll count how many times you've highlighted the word woman, and you'll add a comment at the end of the article with how many times you highlighted that word <laughs> or words, I guess. Um, and then the article talks about four female scientists. I want you to choose one of the four and add a comment on their name, which their names are all the titles of each subsection, um, stating what they did, what did that female scientist do, and then why is that important for the scientific community. Um, after you're done with the article, I want you to use the drawing tool to draw a new picture of what a scientist looks like using the white space at the bottom of the page. There's not a whole lot of white space, uh, so you can't make as beautiful as a drawing as you did in Flipgrid, but you can still make a new picture of a scientist. And then after that, add a text box that compares your current idea of a scientist to your previous Flipgrid picture. Um, again, if you didn't get the chance yesterday, make sure to go on to Flipgrid which is in the resources section. And take a look at all your classmates' videos, or all your classmates and the things they put on um, for Draw Scientists, right? This is first hour's responses, but you can see a lot of us have different ideas of what a scientist looks like. Uh, and if you actually watch through the videos, you don't have to actually watch the whole video, but if you click through it, you can see that a lot of people had different ideas. Uh, and it was very interesting to see. Um, but our main takeaways is in this data, right? Um, so some of you tried to access this yesterday and it didn't work out very well for you. Um, so I've reattached it here um, so you can see it a little bit better. Um, so what are some of our main takeaways from the 21 people that drew a scientist, or at least the 21 people in class, 16 of them drew men, right? And 15 of them drew white people. Right. And we can start to see how our stereotypes for what a scientist is and what a scientist looks like starts to take form. Right? Because anybody can be a scientist. It doesn't really matter who you are or what you look like. And you can see some of these charts. Uh, you can see, you can even look at every other classes and see what they saw as well, what they saw in their charts. So a lot of the same, a lot of people drew white men. Um, and then after you're done with that, Again, this might be a repeat for you, but there's the watch mojo. And then finally, this is something that I mentioned yesterday, and I've mentioned a couple times to all of you, um, but make sure you are going on Flipgrid and making connections with three people with 100 things, right? This video right here, I explain exactly what I want you to do. Um, that's from a little while ago. But if you just go back to our Flipgrid, you might have to change topics, which you can see here. It says view two topics. You click on the 100 things about me topic, 
you can see all of your classmates 100 things right and then what I want you to do um, nobody has any comments yet some people have some likes which is pretty cool so what I want you to do is to pick three people and comment one thing that you have in common or one thing that you like about their 100 things remember we're keeping all of our reactions positive because we're gonna be um, friendly with each other especially as we communicate online so um, those are the things that you have to complete the comment cami practice will be due at the end of school um, so make sure you have that finished before 320 uh, and then your 100 things comment I won't be checking it. I won't need those until the start of the day on Monday so you have the weekend to comment on those uh, 100 things if you have any questions about anything make sure to let me know uh, if you're in my first hour make sure to do attendance and uh, otherwise this has been Mr. Fixie delivering science to your doorstep have a good night